Did you know that in Zoho People you can set up an onboarding process for new employees? There is a section called onboarding. Once you go into Zoho People, look at your menu, find onboarding, and then you will see here there are onboarding flows that you can set up for either employees or candidates. If you go to employee boarding, you can set it up to where they get a welcome when they first log in, they have a profile and forms, maybe documents to review and sign, um, their team, objectives, company information, training. You can set all of that up right here in Zoho People. And I'm going to show you a couple of those features. But before we get started, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And then also don't forget about our community that is absolutely free to join at SuccessfulSolutions.com slash connect. I am going to go to the preview so that you can see what this would look like to the employee as they go through the onboarding process. First, they get a welcome. Um, it's going to display their employee ID, the um, department that they're a part of, and also their email address. And then they'll get a button that says, let's get started. As you can see, it's going to take them through a process so that they can, you know, do everything in the order in which you would like for them to complete everything. So they'll get that welcome. Um, they'll be able to write comments as well. Uh, the profile will be here. So this is basically what is in Zoho People for that employee, their ID, their nickname, their name, um, department, and all of those details, and even the personal details like birthday and marital status. You can, um, you know, display or not display whichever fields you'd like. Um, then they have documents and policies that they may need to go through and review and sign. And so as you can see, once I clicked on that, it brought the document up and it has where they can, you know, go in and fill out this information and then also sign. Then here it's just going to have, you know, their team members. Company information would be here if you've added anything. Here it's it's blank on my demo, but you would have the company information and then any training courses that they need to take. Right here in Zoho People, as you know, um, there's LMS and you can set up training courses and allow them to be self-paced. Once they click on that course, it will take them through. Let's see if it will allow me to click on it. Okay, it won't do it in the preview. Um, but on the back end, you'll see that there are there's a course that we've set up in LMS onboarding training course and so you've got the module here any files and so on so they'll be able to go through this training video you can see here it's 40 minutes um, and complete that before it you know gives them the checklist at the very end and that checklist is basically saying that they've completed all of these tasks. So let's go back to onboarding. Under onboarding flows, I have an employee onboarding flow. Okay, and then here's checklist. And this is just basically saying we have two tasks that are associated with this checklist. Um, again, it's not going to show us the details, but this is where they need to accept this invitation, accept this other invitation, and then they'll be done with their entire onboarding process and then of course once that's completed then um, you know their manager should receive some type of notification letting them know that it's completed. One detail that I do want to show you in this video is um, how to add a document. If you want more detailed training on setting up your onboarding process we do have a training course in Zoho, um, or excuse me, Successful Learning, which is our academy, our online academy. Uh, it's at learn.successfulsolutions.com. And once you go in and go to all courses, there is a course that is called Zoho People Setup and Customization. This one is the one that goes through the onboarding process and how to set that up. 
Okay, um, so in order to add a document, first you'll have a description that you'll add up top. Um, any documents that need to be accepted or read, you will add them in here. So right here, um, we're going to add, we'll put the document name, whatever we want the name to be, the form that it's using, okay, this one, this particular one was employee salary, but you've got some other options. Then you've got the template. You have to set up your mail merge template first in order for it to be listed in this drop down. And then whoever it's applicable to, you know, uh, whatever, whichever roles, you'll add those in here. So that whoever's taking this onboarding course or process, as they go through it, it will only show them what applies to them. So if you add the role admin or manager, if it pertains to the manager, that's what you want to display as far as these documents go. Um, so in order to add a mail merge template, all right, so in order to see the um, template that we just saw, we're gonna go to settings and under customization templates, it is a mail merge template, so we're going to go to mail merge template, and you only see this one, which is employee offer letter. This is where your templates reside. So if you have templates that you've already set up or that you already have in place, you can copy and paste those into this section here, or you can just create them here. All right, and so it will plug in whatever information you have set. So let's go to edit so you can just see how to get the fields on there. Okay. So then you'll go here and whatever the fields are that are in Zoho people that you'd like to automatically populate, you'll just drag and drop that over here, just like that. Okay. So, all right. Um, and then down here are the signature fields. So you will add the signature fields here at the bottom. And then if you would like, you could, you know, send it out, merge it, and send it out from here. But as part of this onboarding process, you just want to have the template created. So that as they're going through this process, you will have the template automatically populate with their information. It will be for whichever roles you've assigned this document to, and then it will take them through Zoho Sign to sign the document. If you have documents you'd like for them to read, those will go here. Let's see if we can, I think there's only one document here in here. So um, yeah, we won't be able to add anything else because we don't have another document to add. But yeah, that is basically how you add documents into the employee onboarding process. And so again, if you want to have training in more detail, go to our Successful Learning um, Academy and look for the course that's called Zoho People Setup and Customization.